Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. So in this video, I want to do a revisit on a video that was very popular a few years ago. No, it wasn't a few years ago. It was like two years ago. I bought some cheap kayaks and I wanted to improve the seats and I kept watching things on YouTube and seeing how everybody else was going about doing it and I thought it was ludicrous. So let me just show you what I did. I bought these uh, kayaks over at Dick's and they came with these seats that look like this. They're just like basically glorified padded backs and the bottom of the kayak was just plastic and I'm 50 and I kind of have a bad back and it wasn't very comfortable for me to sit on those so let me take you out back and show you a couple things that I did and the reason I wanted to do this video was because the last time I did this video I did it on my iPhone and I wasn't really doing it for like the production or the video sake I was just kind of showing people how I did it but it wasn't very uh, informative or explanatory so but let's walk out across the yard and go take a look. I'm going to take this apart real quick just to give you a better picture. I'm going to pull this ore out of here. Okay, so now what I have is basically I have the seat that sits on the kayak, okay? And I thought what I would do today, instead of take you through the explanation, I thought maybe I would take the seat out. Okay, so bear with me here guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the seat off of the location that it's on. I'm going to show you how I put this together. So, here is the dirty skanky area that the seat used to be in. Now it used to be I had a padded back right here that connected with two screws and then I had a adjustable straps that would connect up here to this point here and my butt would literally sit down in this little hard plastic area which killed me and not to mention was very uncomfortable and not a great position it would make my back hurt after a while and you had no storage under the seats so what I did was I went on to Amazon and I bought this seat for 29 or 39 dollars I forget how much exactly it's basically a folding boat seat made by Wise company W-I-S-E I believe it's padded it's nothing special but it definitely served the purpose of what I wanted to do but here's how I made it work Get that thing off of there what I did was I took an aluminum bar and I fitted this aluminum bar across and made it fit these two holes here these two holes are already quarter 20 threaded so what I did was I drilled out this bar Let's see if I can show you I drilled out the bar right here so I could put those threaded uh, screws down into those holes and then screw it down to the kayak and then the seat I made some holes in the aluminum channel and then ran the screws up into the seat and then that connected the bar to the seat so that's the front section and that's all I had to do now the back was a little bit more thinking I needed to support this back section a little bit so it wouldn't slide down into the boat or it wouldn't crack the front connection so I made this little u-shaped PVC piece and it secures with two screws I drilled two big holes on the outside and then I drilled two little holes on the inside and those screw holes were already there in the boat. I didn't make any new holes in this boat. And then I just ran the screws, connected this piece of tubing and it just connects and holds the weight of the seat downward force. It doesn't hold any lateral motion. But then I was like, well, how am I gonna keep this thing and the seat connected together so when you're moving around, things don't move? Well, that's where the trusty old zip tie comes in. If you guys don't have any of these zip ties, you need to get some. Okay, so what I do is on the back section, basically, I just feed this zip tie down through this, like so. I come down here and I push it underneath this piece of white PVC. And as the seat gets closer, I push the zip tie through the other hole. There's two little holes. I make sure the seat is down tight where I want it. And then basically, Check it out. A couple of good strong tugs and that seat is not going to come loose from that tubing on the back. My Gerber dime, it's on my keychain now. And just cut that strap, that part's done. And then from there, I have these little quarter 20 toggle bolt thingy mabobbies and I just line them up and I put them in where the holes were, the other Get it started on one side. Get it started on the other side. Uh-oh. You just turn these things in place, which isn't that easy. You might have to use a pair of pliers. 
Um, they're just kind of stiff. It's not hard. It just doesn't go in easily and it's an awkward place for your hand. But once you get this done, you've got storage underneath. You can put things underneath. You can use like a carabiner here and put, clip like your phone case to it. I mean, it totally changes the usefulness of the seat. It's incredible. So if you guys wanted to do it on your own, you can take a cheap kayak like this, maybe a $200, $300 kayak, put a nice seat in it, and you don't have to spend $2,000 for some of these things. Hey guys, I also wanted to show you a quick kayak uh, hanging quick tip. I made these little brackets. They're just basically angular brackets with a little lateral support so they don't move that much. I attached them to the back of my shed and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put a kayak in here and how they store away really nicely. So basically, you drive the front end up in there. You put the other end up in there. Bada bing, baby. I'll see you guys out on the water this weekend. And uh, thanks for watching. Later. Mm -hmm.